All right, I'm taking this thread for the pizza thread. Or I'm taking this video for the pizza thread on something awful to demonstrate my me- my method to show that I am breaking all of the conventional wisdom about you know when you can mix what, and it always turns out fine for me. So here I have all my ingredients measured. I have 300 grams of flour. I have about four grams of yeast, about nine grams of salt, and about a little under that of sugar. Uh, I'm going to straight up mix all the dry ingredients together first, and then I'm going to pour this. Uh, 200 grams of water that I've also measured, which is, you know, 66.6% hydration. Uh, I'm just going to dump it all in there. I'm I'm like, this is what I always do. Um, there's a lot of thing in here. I'm going to mix on low for a little bit. This is just to get the dry ingredients together, because I assume they won't mix as well. You also notice I am I am directly mixing the yeast with the salt. I've never seen it make a difference, as far as I can tell. It's always risen for me just fine. So I'm going to let it mix, and I'm just going to dump all the water in. I don't slowly introduce it. Uh, this might be slightly bad for my gears, because I guess for a couple seconds, you know, it's pretty thick. But I think the water incorporates fast enough that uh, I don't think it's too bad for the mixer. It's also on low, and I'll just show you, I don't really need it for all that long. So, I mean, you can see that it does stick to the paddle. Um, that's fine. Like, that will really not matter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get get this down from here. Uh, this is kind of hard to do with one hand. So, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, basically get this off the paddle into the bowl. I'm going to put a little coating of olive oil on it um, so that my hands don't stick to it. And I'm going to form a ball out of it. Um, and then it's still not going to look great. Um, it's not going to look like a smooth, shiny dough ball, but it will later. Um, but I just want to show that, like, this is what it looks like when I'm done with it in the mixer, and I promise this is fine. Like, it look, it doesn't look like a dough yet, um, but it will. Um, I'm going to put my phone down for just a second and do this, because um, I don't know how to fucking combine YouTube clips or anything. I'm like a computer boomer over here. I've never combined clips from my phone uh onto youtube but you can see like as long as it's uh in one sort of batch like that um it will really be fine i mean it's not it's not actually really sticking to my hand as it is um and so i can you know get it into a rough sort of ball thing but you can see it's not actually really that sticky and it's it's wet um it's not dry um and it will definitely stick if i keep fucking with it uh, but you can make a ball out of this, and if you if you put a little bit of olive oil on, um, then you'll be able to pretty easily make a ball without without having it stick to your hands. Um, but I can't really do that one-handed. But that's what I'm gonna do, though. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put a little olive oil on this. You can see it's already much more bally than it was. Like as as rough as it looked coming out, it already looks much smoother just from me messing with it for a bit. And it'll look really smooth once it rests. Like I don't know if if the if the dough just sort of has a natural resting state of being, you know, more smooth. I know that gluten forms and and sort of lets go from your hand uh, as it develops. But that's what's gonna happen. You you put a once you put the cling film on this and let it rise, um, it's it's gonna look neat. You don't have to worry about it looking like shit at first. Um, I'm gonna take some pictures too of what it comes out as. Posting the thread, uh, it's probably enough talking. I just wanted to show that like you can 
You can mix the salt with the yeast. I don't think it matters. You can mix all the water at once. I don't think it matters. Uh, this will definitely not window pane right now. I don't think. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, like you can tell it's already tearing. But I promise that also once it rises and, and you know does its thing, it will window pane later. I mean, I can make some. I'll take pictures also of how thin I can get it uh, without it breaking. It will totally be fine later. All right. Well, goodbye, Pizza Thread. I love you.